we want to expand the quantity 2x minus 3y squared raised to the fourth power using the binomial theorem. And in this video, we'll also be using Pascal's triangle. Here's the binomial theorem stated using summation notation as well as an expanded form. Notice in expanded form, each term has three factors where one factor consists of a combination. Each term contains a factor of x which comes from the first term in the binomial. And each term also contains a factor of y from the second term in the binomial. So while this looks fairly involved, there is a nice pattern to make the binomial theorem easy to remember and apply. And in this video, to evaluate these combinations, we're going to use Pascal's triangle where if we have the binomial raised to the nth power, if we find row n in Pascal's triangle, it'll give us the value of each of these combinations. If you're wondering how to form Pascal's triangle, we start with a triangle of three ones as we see here. And notice each row begins and ends with a one. And then for the numbers in between, we have the two numbers above. Notice that one plus one is equal to two, one plus two is equal to three, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3, 1 plus 3 is equal to 4, 3 plus 3 is equal to 6, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4, and so on. So going back to our example, notice the binomial is raised to the fourth power, which means the first term will have a factor of 4 choose 0. And then because the first term is 2x, we'll have four factors of 2x. And because the second term would be negative 3y squared, we'll have zero factors of negative 3y squared. So this would be the first term in the binomial expansion. And then for the next term, if this is four choose zero, we'll have four choose one. If we have four factors of two x here, we'll have one less, so we'll have two x to the third. And if we have zero factors of negative 3y squared, we'll have one factor of negative three y to the second. So for each successive term, we're losing a factor of two x and gaining a factor of negative three y squared. Plus for the third term, we'll have four choose two. So we'll only have two factors of two x or two x to the second, and we'll have two factors of negative three y squared. The fourth term, we'll have four choose three and we'll only have one factor of two x, so two x to the first, and we'll have three factors of negative three y to the second, so this is raised to the third power. And for our last term, we'll have four choose four, zero factors of two x, and four factors of negative three y to the second. Just applied the binomial theorem, and now we need to simplify to find each term. And again, for this example, we're going to use Pascal's triangle to evaluate our combinations. And since the original binomial is raised to the fourth power, we can find the value of each combination here in row four of Pascal's triangle, starting with row zero. So we have row zero, row one, row two, row three, and row four. Notice how there are five combinations and five numbers in this row. So four choose zero is equal to one, four choose one is equal to four, four choose two is equal to six, and so on. So for our first term, four choose zero would be one times two x raised to the fourth. Well, two to the fourth is equal to 16, so we'll have 16 x to the fourth, negative three y to the second raised to the zero power is equal to one, plus four choose one is equal to four, times two x to the third. Two to the third is equal to eight, so we have eight x cubed, and then we have one factor of negative three y squared, plus four choose two, that's equal to six, times two x squared, that'll be four x squared. And then we have negative three y to the second squared, that'll be positive nine y to the fourth. Next we have four choose three, that's equal to four. 2x to the first, that's just 2x, times negative three y to the second cubed, 
Well, negative three to the third would be negative 27, and then y squared to the third would be y to the sixth. And for the last term, we have four choose four, that's equal to one, as we see here. Two x to the zero is equal to one. And then we have negative three y squared to the fourth. Negative three to the fourth is equal to 81. Y squared to the fourth is equal to y to the eighth. So we need to simplify this one more time to find our expansion. So the first term we can see would just be 16x to the fourth. For the next term, the coefficient would be four times eight times negative three. That's negative 96. And then we have x to the third, y to the second. So minus 96, x to the third, y to the second. For the next term, the coefficient would be six times four times nine. That's equal to 216, and then we'll have x to the second, y to the fourth. So plus 216, x to the second, y to the fourth. The next term would have a coefficient of four times two times negative 27. That's negative 216, so we have minus 216, and we have one factor of x and six factors of y. So we have x, y to the sixth, our last term we can see is just going to be plus 81 y to the eighth. Okay, that's going to do it for this example. I hope you found this helpful.